Now, a project to empower women in the agribusiness sector has been launched in the wild municipality of the Upper West Region. The one-year program by Plan International Ghana aligns with SDGs 2-4 and the first fundamental step towards securing zero hunger in sub-Saharan Africa. A 2020 comprehensive food security and vulnerability analysis showed food insecurity in Ghana stands at 11.7%, implying a food insecure population of 3.6 million people. Though nearly 39% of Ghana's farm labor force are women, according to the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, inequalities continue to hamper their output. The planned Ghana female-led agribusiness project aimed at bridging the gap through partnerships to enhance their production. The pilot project in the Upper West Regional Capital, WA, has eight beneficiaries from a pool of farmers who have gone through the preliminary exercise. We initially screened them using a criteria uh, to know how long their businesses were, but they needed support so that they could expand, giving them the resources. And uh, when I talk about the resources, it's going to come in terms of uh, trainings, supporting them to buy their machinery, if it's a farm machinery or a processing machinery, that can help them to improve and as well as reach more mini clients with their products. Head of Sponsorship Program at Plan International Ghana, Josephine Fiawunu, spoke about benefits of the program. We hoped that it will go a long way to enhance their skill, help them to rebrand themselves, give them a knowledge, some knowledge in bookkeeping, give them some knowledge in how to finance their own businesses when the support or this fund ends. Some of the beneficiaries said the program. My own stood out because it's it's a promising business and then it's a business that also stands to solve a major problem in the Nadori Kaleo district, the Upper West region, Ghana and the world at large. Some of the challenges that I do encounter is getting um, marketing the business, like marketing it more, bringing it out there. Another challenge that we encountered or we've been encountering is our packaging or getting the packages that we need to put in our products. Each of the beneficiaries received 30,000 cities in addition to technical support services.